So today we're going to look at these magic passes from Disneyland Paris. Now, when I used these, um, I was wondering how they uh, how they actually worked when you entered the park. Uh, first, I thought it was OCR based on the details on the back. Um, but it turns out these are NFC cards. So there's a tiny chip inside uh, which can be read by your phone, which is quite neat. I found this out by uh, just having the phone near it and it would beep like, like that. And that made me think, well, what could I actually do with these cards other than uh, just enter the park? Obviously, when the holidays ended, can I reuse these cards for something? Um, there's a nice app on Android called Automate, and that can actually read what's on the cards. So in here, we can add a new flow, and it kind of works like a, a flow chart. Um, Added, letting you add blocks in. So if we look for an NFC block, we can wait for a tag to be scanned. Let's join those two steps up. And we can so just say any for the tag type. It's not an automate one. And that will read uh, what's in the tag. Now, if we start that, I don't think we'll have anything happen. Let's have a look. Let's scan one of those. Right, so you can kind of see in the log that it it read the tag and then it stopped. Let's start that one again and have that one running. Let's try the other one. You can see again, it's added to the log there. So we can actually read the um, the data on that card or the ID of the card. So in a flow that I designed earlier, let's have a look. We have got this flow here. So we've got that scan block again here. So we're just saying any, and then we're outputting um, the tag ID into a variable. And then we can use that tag ID in an if statement and say, if the tag ID is that one, then show uh, a card saying card one, uh, as in a, a toast card on uh, Android. Um, and if it's this ID, then that must be card number two, and show a different message on screen. And otherwise, loop back around to the top and wait for a card to be scanned. Um, you can find out that the card IDs just by having this block and then outputting the tag ID. Um, that, that makes it easy to see, well, what, what are these IDs set up to? So let's run this. So now we're running. If we scan that, you can see it's a card two at the bottom of the screen. And now it says card one at the bottom of the screen. Obviously, just displaying a message isn't that useful, but what you can do is then um, run an application, uh, play a podcast, take a picture, do all those kind of things that Flow will let you do uh, on your phone. Um, and what you can do is take these cards, and if you've got a, a smartphone holder in the car, you can stick this card in the back of um, sort of on the, on the uh, holder and then when the phone is mounted onto the holder um, it'll obviously scan the NFC tag and do the action so you, know, you might want it to start up Google Maps um, potentially with the um, TomTom Tom speed camera alerts on top of that um, or when you've reached work change the sound profile to be quieter or um, or start an app or ping something to say that you've arrived at work. So lots of possibilities in here for uh, automation based on uh, being able to touch these tags with the phone. So very neat.